not for America Australia would have already fallen including New Zealand, these are the distant colonies the seer spoke about of Britain. He said they would come join us here in South Africa, it's probably the only vision of his I would highly have to disagree with because though he may be right. Personally I would not want any of those people living among us or near us, they can find some other country but it is not for me, that is simply my personal opinion. I say that because none of those countries have said anything about the atrocities happening in South Africa. So why would we want to share land with such people, nations and peoples who have no integrity or honesty should never be allowed to live among you. Godly, God-fearing people who pride themselves on honor. Honesty and integrity should be our highest priority when they come settle the land or else we land up creating the same countries from which they came from. I am very strong-minded about this, though I write in English, the Afrikaans language and culture has to come first, it has to be protected as one would protect an endangered species. It is part of us, it is what makes us who and what we are. We are Afrikaners, we took our chance in Africa, the Almighty has a plan for us and keep that language, culture, history and everything alive at all costs. The one insight I had was that when the media collapses, when the US pulls out of the World Health Organization and the United Nations. This is when the big bird swallows the small bird the seer mentioned. Not only the small bird but all her former Commonwealth countries. You will see many countries calling out and asking to have a form of American democracy with amendments added to their constitutions when this pandemic thing has come to an end and it comes to an end when these attacks take place. Something is said on live television which will cause such revolts in these countries that you will see pro-America governments spring up. In the past America had to use force to get countries on board now they use this pandemic to push the people to their breaking points that the people reject the tyrannical governments and ask for pro-Western pro-American form of government. It is ingenious, it is truly amazing how they will use this to get countries on board with America while turning the spotlight on China and blaming China for this virus. It fulfills the vision of China and America at war. Already there are reports of China sending warships off the coast of Alaska. Another hot spot I see forming is between Greece and Turkey. I see an escalation between these two nations and many of their islands will come under threat from Turkey and many may even fall into the hands of Turkey. So this is something to watch out for. With France now being pushed to form relations with Russia, we will see the visions begin to move faster where the two of them will work together in Africa combating insurgencies. I mentioned last year that I saw in a vision after meditation that the bucket of blood the seer warned about will become about with what I saw Herman Mashaba say. Watch Herman Mashaba. Mr. Mashaba's words will trigger events in South Africa and I saw the horns of the Afrikaners get sharp after he speaks those words. Remember, so far for the past 28 years the ANC only had the support of the unions controlled by the Communist Party. The average, conservative black person on the street in South Africa has never voted for the ANC. They have been left out of the political scene and Mr. Mashaba will fill this vacuum and the ANC has never had to deal with an uprising of conservative, angry blacks. This is where the problems are going to come in. The chaos, the revolution is all part of God's plan. We will have revolutions within revolutions, the far left, the conservative, the nationalists, the tribes, all fighting. The chaos I saw was caused by the interference of the West who were only looking short term when they had the ANC come to power. I had the vision from 2015 confirmed now by Yoon Lamprecht in one of his audios. He said the Zulus do not trust the ANC and that the ANC, who are mainly Kosa do not want a Zulu running the country. This is exactly what I saw when I had the vision and was brought to my knees. The West put the ANC in power, the world needed to see a black and white ruling the country but in the background they ignored the tribal aspect. The tribal politics was never spoken about in public but I was shown in the vision, the blacks had an agreement. 
a spoken agreement and we know how these spoken agreements work out in Africa when not written down. They said, Akosa would rule first, then a Zulu. When Mandela stood down, they wanted a Zulu in charge, but the Kosa said they had not been ruling yet. See the Kosa Mandela power shared the deal. It was not a full-term Kosa government or president. So the Zulu saw Mandela as the first Kosa leaders, but the Kosa did not recognize that as a full president because it was a power-sharing deal. And it was revealed to me during this vision that this unspoken, this silent agreement is the thing which breaks the country and where the land will be once more in the Boers, Africanus hands. The West were blinded by God to hand the country over at a time of God's choosing. Which began in 1994 and have come to an end now with the chains coming undone starting in March 2020. Now we will watch this entire thing fall apart, a bankrupt government, tribal conflicts, poverty, far left and the conservative blacks begin warring. It is inevitable. Stay out of it, join groups, stay safe and do not get involved. They wanted to run the country, now according to the dream vision they want to run back to London begging for money when we already gained independence, this is their final death nail. They want to bring people back into the scene who genocided our ancestors, from whom we gained independence all the while this was not necessary because the country was in good standing. Capital flowed into the country and through their destruction they bring this all about and this is the thing which I see will really awaken the people and be the ruling party's biggest mistake. So monumental is the vision I saw of this. It will be too terrible for the ruling party that their only wish will be that not only that they got into politics but that they will wish they were not born during this period because making this move will be the greatest insult. Far worse than destroying the country through corruption. Calling the whites racists, colonialists but then running back to a former colonialist begging for money, that's truly adding insult to injury. A lot can be forgiven but not this move they make once the dream is fulfilled. Destroying the country, bankrupting it, destroying it and then bringing back into the picture this former colonial ruler, who committed atrocities here, and you bring them back to rule us. I can't quite describe what I see but it is on par with what the seer mentioned where things will get resolved at the same place we faced humiliation during the Boer War. I see that the nation could let a lot of things go, they could look past many things the government did but this final portion. This final act of going to London bringing them back into the picture is and will be the final straw. It is what it is, but this is all part of the Almighty's plan. After typing this out, I took a break and this is the first time I have come back to edit and add something further to what I have written. I am writing this portion based on the insights I have had after taking a break before recording this. We see America now calling for sanctions against Australia for the way the police are treating their people. Let me do my best to describe this. See what we see happening, we first have to go back to the past and it ties into what I already discussed about the Queen. In the past when Britain ruled the waves, when she ruled the world. Britain got all her colonies in top form and shape before her great war against Germany. Today America rules the waves, she rules the world. From the World Health Organization right through to the United Nations. This entire lockdown pandemic all the countries followed is by direction of the World Health Organization and United Nations. Australia followed the rules, guidelines of the World Health Organization and so they have fallen for the bait. In the government's lust for greed and power, for more power she committed to the plan, she followed the guidelines, lockdown guidelines, social distancing guidelines not knowing the grand plan. The grand plan is that the big bird, America is going to swallow the small, former power Britain. That includes all her former colonies, including her commonwealth. South Africa was one of the first. See we had the same situation when the US was at war with the Soviet Union. In order to control us, they put sanctions on us, all while supporting us with our Bush war. The result was that we eventually handed over to the people we were fighting. Now it's Australia's turn. 
To make sure that she follows suit, in America's new war with China, she too is having sanctions put on her and will be controlled by having her buy this nuclear submarine. The result is she will be swallowed up by the big bird. This ties in with the media collapse, when the carpet is pulled up and out of all these nations which followed suit, following the guidelines of the World Health Organization and the United Nations. When the media collapses, showing the scam, then this is when the United States will pull out of the World Health Organization and United Nations. They will pull out on the basis that this is some communist ploy to overthrow the West. They will play on the China threat. Australia and all the nations which partook in the lies against the old South Africa are now going to be in total bondage, all the while, the Boer folk, the white tribe. The Afrikaners have been set free. It's all part of the Almighty's plan. I would hate to live in or be in Australia in the future. I can still see bitter tears of many South Africans who immigrated to Australia and New Zealand and even more so if they got rid of their South African passports. I foresee a time when the nation have taken control of their country and gotten their republic. That the only ones allowed back in will have to still be citizens or those who still hold a South African passport. This is the price of faith, for those who thought it was the end, those who partook in the chicken run. Those anglicized evangelicals with little faith will pay the price by not being able to settle in the safest country in the world. It does not mean tomorrow it will be safe totally safe for our people but that it will take time. Those who left during the chicken run, will find in the future that the door back is closed, especially if they no longer hold South African citizenship or passports and change their citizenship. I see that Europeans will be more welcomed fleeing from Europe than those who left the country and turned their back on their people. Time will tell. The big bird is about to swallow the little bird, the big bird is about to swallow all her colonies in the Far East. All the nations which lied about the Africana will meet a similar fate, they will either be totally destroyed, overrun and in the end many of them will become the Africana's possession. Never lie, always tell the truth. Little lies turn to big lies and big lies turn to horrors in the end. Little did they know that those little lies would cost them their future. For if they could lie to the world about our little nation, so they could lie to their own nations and push tyranny and the end result will be the big bird swallows them all. The Afghanistan situation of them pulling out very fast is going to lead to a bad judgment in character in the coming future. See with pulling out of Afghanistan, now nations have to keep face with each other. Britain was furious with America for pulling out and now America will have to live up to her reputation, the result will be a misstep and misjudging of a situation. When Russia awakens from hibernation, when she senses Europe is weak, when she is convinced America is no more what she used to be, I see Britain leading the charge to take on Russia. America will have no choice but to head into battle in order to make up for pulling out of Afghanistan. This is the scenario and the vision the seer saw, when the American and British troops are wiped out in a coming conflict with Russia. They rush in, the one eager to stop Russia mainly Britain and America now feeling an obligation based on their Afghanistan disaster, one disaster will lead to a total misjudgment and an even greater disaster. It will be France who gains the most out of this. The Almighty has a future plan for France which the French cannot see right now but the deal that saw her lose out of that submarine deal is the thing which will save her in the future. The result will be that she does not get involved in the battle with Russia where America and Britain lose many troops the seer told us about. I will end here by saying prepare. Prepare for safety, prepare for food and put on the armor of God. Join me in prayer, pray for the leaders, pray for the groups. Pray for the nations and pray for peace but always prepared for war. Enemies and bullies will only ever attack you if you are scared and weak. Do not be scared, do not be weak. Pray, unite, put on the armor of God and I call upon the Almighty God of Israel, the Most High to raise up this nation, protect this nation and to bless this nation. May God be with you, with your family, may he raise you up, lift you up and restore what was taken from us. God be with you. 
Praise the Almighty and may you pray and give honor to the Most High all the days of your life.